Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about another API uh, which will take an IP address and it will give all the information that that IP address provides. So in the previous video we talked about the MAC addresses. Now let's see what is the difference between a MAC address and IP address. Um, the first thing we need to know is that if you're trying to connect over the network or if you're trying to be in the internet, you need to have both MAC address and IP address. To make us understand better what is a MAC address, what is an IP address, what is the difference between them and why they are important, um, there is an example. For example, uh, you are registering in an online food ordering system. When you register, uh, you give your information. What is your name, family name? We'll probably give you a unique ID so they will know who you are. So that is your identity and that is the MAC address. And then you need to have an address that they can actually deliver the food to you. And that is going to be your IP address. So if, you, if you're at home and you order food at home, then they will deliver that to your home. But if you are in another place, say you're in your friend's place and you want to order the food, you will go into the website, you change your address or you go to the application, you change your address and they still know that this is you, this is this ID, this is Helia that is ordering the food. Uh, but it, they have a different address. So that's the difference between MAC address and IP address. MAC address is who you are or, the, or if you're using a system is your system, is the identity of your system and IP address is your address over the network. So your IP address can be changed but that doesn't mean that your identity is going to change. Your identity is still the same thing unless you change your MAC address. So now that we cleared what is the difference between IP address and MAC address, let's take a look at this API. So this API is only free for non-commercial purposes. Uh, so you need to consider that if you're uh, trying to develop, if you're trying to use this API in your system. So now let's take a look at the documentation and I'm going to call this API using Webform in Visual Studio and the language that I'm going to be using is C Sharp.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, please consider subscribing and see you in next video.